yeah. You know, um, this concept of pain, right, uh -huh. to really uh, defraud people of their rights, right, cheat a person or organization, right, mm -hmm. or influence the exercise of a public duty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say the sheriff decided to defraud me of my rights and said I was a mentally ill homeless man to those in law enforcement. Now, what possible reason would Bill Benedict have for lying about my... Oh, you got paid. <laughs> now, who paid you? <laughs> now, uh, two or more persons use dishonest means that will harm or imperil the economic interests of another. Mm -hmm. What if I did have a large inheritance in Clallam County and your family had control of it? And you thought, well, I'll just say that he's homeless, mentally ill, and he'll never have his rights enforced because I'm the sheriff and I'll fucking decide what happens right now. Now, I know a police chief, huh? Bill Dixon, poo <laughs> Sat right there next to me when I told uh, my good friend uh, Tom Bryant that I was going to sue the county for $5 million. Mm. Now, did the former chief of police just win, right? Did you decide that you were going to defraud me of my right to sue you for the false arrest uh -huh, of violating the protection order where you had no jurisdiction to issue it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the whole plan for seven years and five months was to say I was crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy to not realize my, my rights as a father. That when you issue a, a, a protection order in 2011 and you don't give me notice or opportunity to be heard. Yeah. That uh, as an educated ooch, bachelor's degree. Yeah that I couldn't see that you had defrauded me of my right to have my sons, and then you issue a dissolution of marriage where I get no notice of court hearings. And the dissolution of marriage um, was dissolving a United Nations marriage certificate. Now, I do respond when I get notice of court hearings, but you thought you would uh, defraud me of the actual rights of being an American citizen. Mm -hmm. Because of the inheritance of Clown County? Did you know about my uh, Edward Budnick or Raymond Arthur Arp or uh, Clara Hulse? Or was there some economic interest uh -huh, that would have influenced your exercise of the public duty of enforcing the civil rights of American citizens? Or the making up of crime when you know I wasn't there? Oh. Now, uh, intellectual property. Mm -hmm. You know, the conspiracy to infringe, as in there's a heat pump next to your house. Mm -hmm. And by my estimation, it blows out air out of the top of it. Yeah, approximately 25 to 30 miles per hour. Could put a little windmill upside down on it and could convert all that uh, air pressure into electricity. Mm -hmm. Cut your fixed heating costs in half. <laughs> now, at the time that I had that idea, pooch! I thought somebody was trying to infringe on my intellectual property to manufacture a very simple device. Yes, mm -hmm. maybe cost uh, three or four hundred dollars to have installed. Yes, that uh, had little propellers on it that turn around when every time it blows air out of the heat pump. Yes, it generates electricity. The electricity goes back into the house and it cuts your electricity cost mm, by 35 to 50 percent. Now, I'm the one that designed the cone shape, and it's actually three propellers. There's a big propeller that goes one direction and goes the opposite direction, goes the opposite direction. <laughs> but um, did somebody have my cell phone when we were living in Vancouver, Washington, when I called my good friend Douglas Thoreau and I told him about my idea? <laughs> you didn't tap my phones right now. Oh, the conspiracy to infringe on my intellectual property so as to interfere with the exclusive right of myself to patent, copyright, and sell. A very simple innovation that captures the actual blowing of the air out of the top of a heat pump. You know, it's worth billions. Could be hundreds of billions, depending on how you market it. Yeah. I did notice that there are a lot of heat pumps throughout the United States, especially those places that are cold because of um, 
the efficiency of forced air heating. Yep. And then the places that are hot in the wind in the summertime, Arizona, New Mexico, California, where they blow cool air into the house so as to reduce the air conditioning costs. Yes. Now that one little conspiracy to infringe on my intellectual property, probably worth a hundred billion dollars. Conspiracy to injure a tort that occurs when two or more persons combine to harm someone else? Yes. Whether physically, mentally, or economically. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. My relatives found out about all the intellectual property. Yes. Because I made YouTube videos. And I told everybody about them. And they say, well... As long as we can get control of his estate, he will never be able to sell these ideas. There's not a, a heat pump in the United States that doesn't realize. I mean, if you just went out there right now, you can take the top of a heat pump off without cutting your fingers off. Now, you can do it. I did it myself. Like four or five little screws around the top of it. You just unscrew them. Yes. When it turns on, put your hand over it. Don't put it in it. Yes. Feel the pressure of the blowing air coming out the top of it. Yes. Now, some people would have just put one propeller, but I was a triple propeller. <coughs> one big one, one small one, one smaller one. Yes. Going opposite direction so as to capture all the movement of the air. Yes. 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 But you decided to conspire to injure myself because you say I need restoration treatment. <coughs> and I need psychotropic medication to restore me to sanity. <coughs> Then there's a conspiracy to monopolize. Psst, psst. Take exclusive control of a commercial market. Now, you, mm -hmm. we hear you. Poop. You know when Microsoft has 95% of the operating systems worldwide? Mm -hmm. Apple has approximately 5 to 10%. There seems to be always a discussion about that other 5%. But I thought the Chinese had a new operating system where I was going to be the international sales representative. I really don't like the operating system that Microsoft sells. And as much as you like to update when I'm trying to do some work, yes, and it takes forever to boot up an old hard drive. I thought we had the technology today so as to maybe remove Microsoft, remove Apple. But now there's that intercorporate conspiracy, conspiracy existing corporation selling officers, agents, employees to be prosecutable under federal law involved two or more persons. <laughs> Does Bill Gates have any idea of my intellectual property? <laughs> Did he know that the former president of China wanted to introduce a new software operating system and some new hardware that would compete with Dell? <laughs> now, I know you would have thought that somebody watched the video, but nobody watched them. Nobody has any idea. <laughs> now, for every employee, the Microsoft Corporation. Ah, Steve Ballmer, look at all of a sudden, boom, blown up Microsoft's so zero, bankrupt, nothing left. The Chinese take over the operating system market throughout the whole world. Do we have a bigger problem? <laughs> now, what would Bill do if he didn't have $75 billion to spend? <laughs> then there's his father, William Gates Sr. has got a nice little attorney firm over there, K&L. <laughs> You would have thought for every video that I made that nobody watched, yes, that I could multiply upon multiply upon multiply conspiracy lawsuits against corporations at this very fucking moment. Now there's the intercorporate and then there's the inter-enterprise. Oh, Paul Allen's estate, it's Paul. I recently heard your deceased husband passed away and did he cremate? Did he bear himself standing up to see exactly what the effect of electricity would be through his mind? Does anybody know where the corpse is of Paul Allen? I'd like to borrow his actual physical brain that he's no longer using. 